Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Ruby. I am your host, Chris Hartnett. Um, in the last one, we beat Wallace. And this was supposed to be up yesterday, but I kinda rage quit. Because uh, I did some grinding. And I'm not gonna lie, um, I needed to do some grinding before I did Victory Road. And there was no place to actually do grinding. So I kind of went to Victory Road already and grinded. Um, I didn't do any trainer battles or anything like that. Uh, I literally just stood in the first three squares and just ran around back and forth. And that's all I did. So, all the items and all everything's still there. I'm not going to show all of Victory Road, because that would take quite a while. And that would take way longer than 20 minutes. So I'm just going to show the direct route to uh, Victory Road, I guess. I'll try. I looked at a map like five days ago, so I'm doing this off of memory. I never want to notice how good my memory is. It was... Here, let me show you some gr what I did for grinding. Uh, oh, I also got Whalmer for Waterfall, so... All my Pokemon are 43 or 44. Vibrava? I don't know if my Pokemon, it, it just kind of got, like, a shitty draw. But its stats are way too low. Like, look at this. They're all, like, 60 to 70. Look at him. Look at all of these. None of them. They're all in like the high 80s to like hundreds. He's just like nowhere close. And it just dies too easily. I don't know if it's just because it it's one of those Pokemon that's a late. It's just one of those harder Pokemon to train. And then he gets major stat boosts when he gets his third evolutionary form. I hope so. Because I was driven mad because all the Pokemon in uh, the Elite Four Victory Road thing, Victory Road, um, didn't have any kind of weakness to any of his moves. I did do um, some. St I, I, did, I went over here. Uh, up here, it's like great. It does not tell you, which is kind of dumb. Oh yeah, Meteor Falls. There's um, a secondary route up there that if you use Waterfall, you'll get up there and you get some items and fight some trainers. I did that, and I got an item for him. Can't use it yet, though. Also, you can go down to here. There's that abandoned ship. You can get Ice Beam there and Dragon Claw up here. Uh, you can get Ice Beam when you got Surf. I thought you needed Dive. My mistake. So. Here we go. No, we gotta go farther south. So, yeah. Um. How have you guys been? I mean, this is like the end. Next, uh, I'm, all this weekend is, um me grinding, which I, I, mm, I found a good method to grinding, I think it's over here, gosh, yeah, it's over here, get out of the way, so many random encounters, I'm gonna like, cut when I get up there and go grab some repels because yeah that that's annoying because I just forgot what I was talking about oh yeah next week's the finale I'm gonna do some grinding uh, my grinding is just putting some let's play on and then watching that and grind at the same time so what am I doing that was weird so here we go Evergrand City, the paradise of flowers, the sea, and Pokemon. And this is Victory Road. 
Now, I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, so I got some re repels, and we're ready to go in. You're going to need um, strength, rock smash, and waterfall, I believe. I know those three. I don't think you need any other ones. Wait. No, it's rock smash, strength, surf, waterfall. Waterfall and Surf are kind of are obvious. Uh, let's go this way. Maybe it would help if, you know, I, uh, put those repels on. Fucking Zubats. Okay, uh... Oh, I already had repels. I am a genius. Oh, bike. Uh oh, trainer battle. This seemingly infinite and harsh road lives up to its name of victory. Uh. So, um, I don't know how many people, how many of you guys are like really uh, keep like if any of you guys keep up with uh, gaming news or anything, but uh, the Wii U thing was yesterday. We finally got a price and a release date. Um, so, yeah. That's pretty sweet. Um, release date is pretty much what always, all Nintendo consoles have been. November 18th. Or, like, that Sunday. Uh, it's, like, the third week. It's always, like, one of those. Son of a bitch. It's always, like, in the same time frame. Is what I'm trying to say. planted its roots. So I'm guessing that's like leech seed, but not leech seed. Yeah. Uh, the price is going to be 300 for the normal one and then 350 for the the, 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 the the deluxe. Um, I know some people are kind of pissed about that price. I'm not. Because I find that to be a fair price. If you look back at other consoles... The PS3, when it first came out, was like 400 and 500 or something like that. Uh, the Xbox 360 was 300 and 400 when it came out. Um, yeah, like, if you look back at old console prices, they were really high. Yeah, you get paralyzed. Uh, just die, yo trying to get Rava up. He needs all the levels he can get for this Elite Four. Your battle style is fantastic. Wait, you had one Pokemon? What the hell are you going to do with the Elite Four? You need Flash? Yeah, you need Flash, apparently. Uh, and I cut and got Shroomish. Who knows Flash? It really sucks, though. That they make you get, like, have all these HMs, especially HMs that are not even that good. And then they have you do a final battle before you get out. Because, you know, like all Pokemon games, there's always a, a fight before, you know, the Elite. The, a rival battle. Before, uh, like, at the end of Victory Road. Gosh, why can't I talk English, man? So, yeah, um, how many of you guys are hyped for the, uh, the Wii U, or what, what do you guys think? I'm kind of, uh, I'm sold on it. I, I, I think the lineup's, the, the game lineup's good for me. I'm really digging, um, Lego City. I know that's an odd game choice, but you've seen some trailers? It's really awesome. What is it? Lego City Undercover or something? Oh hell. Um shoot. Uh bird Pokemon. I took out Magneton. Shit. Bag. 
gonna use a revive on Rava because he needs all the experience he can get. Oh no, a try attack. Now, I'm pretty sure try attack has the chance of burning, paralyzing, or freezing the target. Uh, so, yeah, that's not good. I still am. Oh, duh, it's fine, type, you, you fool. Um, there's Lego City, um. Let's see, uh, Pikmin 3, maybe, if, the, if they made the controls better. Because I find that the one thing that, like, I really hate about Pikmin, it's just that it's really hard to control all the groups of Pikmin. Because you got three colors, and it's just kind of... I find it difficult trying to do it strategically. Like, strategic throwing and stuff, and... I hope with the touchpad, the controls with the Pikmin, what you want to, the selected Pikmin, are smarter. Like, it's, it's kind of hard to explain what I want. But, yeah. People are pissed about Bayonetta 2, though. Like, I didn't expect people to be upset about Wii exclusive Bayonetta 2. Wii U exclusive. I think that's still a stupid name. Because people are, like... People are gonna think that it's just kind of some accessory for the Wii. That's what my mom thought up until, like, yesterday. When I told her about it. it that wasn't really smart on their part. Sort of. It was kind of smart. And it's dead. Gosh darn it, Vibrava. Why you have to be such a glass cannon? Not even a glass cannon. You can't even do much damage. Like, someone suggested, you know, get Bagon and stuff, but... Or, I think it was Bagon. Yeah, Bagon. But the Pokemon level for Bagon is only like... What? Like, not much? And it's just... I don't feel like grinding a Pokemon all the way up to like level 50. That takes way too much time. And I, I'm like... I'm sick of grinding. I can't wait until I don't have to grind anymore. Okay, let's let's heal some Pokemans here. Um, got my lemonade. What? Why is that a shroomish? Do I have any more? No, I don't. Oh wait, I should do that now. Yeah, where is it? Wait, where's the ice beam? There it is. Use ice beam. Because... Swampert needs to get rid of some kind of move. Let's see... Yeah, water gun. Like, what are we gonna use with water gun? Let's see, water gun would do 60. And this gives him 95 and an ice type move for dragon types. So, get rid of Water Gun. And he learned Ice Beam! This is actually, um, <laughs> quite a... I think this is a coincidence. I'm pretty sure it is, anyway. Well, yeah. Unless I subconsciously remembered. But that's actually the same moveset I have on my, like, level, like, 90 Swampert in my Ruby version. It's almost level 100. Where the hell are the max repels? Let's go through here. Uh, that doesn't work. Okay, let's do this. You shouldn't get complacent just because you have a lot of gym badges. There's always going to be someone who's better than you. No one can be better than me. I'm the best. If you uh, hear something, 
if you follow me on the Tweety Bird, uh, I'm sorry if I don't update Facebook all the time, it's just that I kind of forget. I really wish they would give me an option so I can get TweetDeck to work with uh, Facebook pages. But nope, which is stupid. But uh, I've been playing some N64 recently. I, I decided to hook that up. Why am I not attacking? See what I mean? Like, I'm. That's like his strongest attack. And it's not doing jack shit. It really should be doing more. Oh, God damn criticals. I thought I could live one more. But Brav is such a pain. Like, he's always been kind of like that Pokemon that's always been lower leveled and just hasn't been this good. But, like, it became very adamant, like, yesterday. I don't know why I sent Swellow out. Oh, you jackass! What? Uh, bleh. Bleh. But, uh, yeah, I've been playing some Star Fox 64. Beat that game. Uh, uh, this is terrible. Like, this is after I freaking grinded. I mean, this is ridiculous. Well, it doesn't help that I'm picking the wrong Pokemon to use. Uh, Star Fox 64, and I'm also playing, uh, Pokemon Stadium. Which still has the best announcer of all time. Like, if you played that game, you know what I mean. I don't know how anyone can, like, find, find him annoying. Dying Tales? Ugh. Yo, Vibrav, are you kidding me? Look how close he is to leveling up. How much is that? That's like probably like 10. Maybe 20. 71? What a tease. I've also been playing... Uh, I think I've mentioned this. Oblivion? The Elder Scrolls Oblivion? It's, um... Different. Let's just say that. Because I'm used to Japanese RPGs. It's actually my first not Japanese RPG. It's fun and addicting. Very addicting. Aw, oh, you jerk. I had to get one hit in me. Hit on me. Alright, Vibrava. 45. 5. You're better than me. What? Vibrava is evolving! Finally! It only took forever. Your Vibrava evolved into a Flygon. Flygon. I don't know why I said flagging. And, before I forget, let's go over to this Dragon Claw and teach that to Flygon. Because that move's a beastly move. It's power of 80. Um. Fain attack, I guess. I would get rid of maybe strength, but I can't. Well, I wish they would get rid of that feature. That's so stupid. Do that? Did they? They HM moves can't be forgotten because that's just bullshit. 
I find that, like, to be the stupidest thing. The stupidest thing. Why do I put emphasis on words? Like that. The stupidest thing. Shit, man. <sighs> also, I'm totally guessing here. Is there an item? Ah, yeah, there's an item. Ah, uh, frick. I will be going through this when I, um, grind to get all the items. If they're worth it, I'll have to look up the items. I train together with my whole family, every one of us. I'm not losing anyone. Is he that dude? Whose family we beat up? Or was that Wally's? No, that's not Wally's. Yeah, this guy might be the, um... Oh my gosh, remember that trainer place? It's just north of Marvel That has those dudes in it? It had that whole family of trainers that you had to face all in a row? See, that's what I mean. Now that's a freaking attack, man. Now Flygon's a badass. Kadabra, psh. Get that crunching. Wait a sec. 146 HP. I thought his HP was like 116. Or am I just crazy? Am I thinking of a different Pokemon? I must be. Because there's no way his HP increased 30. Huh? I don't know. No, I'm just crazy. Blah, blah, blah. Yo, just dragon breath, man. Dragon breath. A shift tree, huh? Bring it on. He's a dark type, so. Just Dragon Claw all of the things, man. What does growth even mean? Like, did he grow in size? Like, I wonder what that move looked like in the anime. Hmm. Man. Flygon just got. Yeah, he said something about no one can be better than his family. He must be. I gotta look at this real quick. Look at his stats! What the shit? He evolved and then his stats increased by like 30. How does that even... I, I Am I just like being dumb and just never notice this? But do stats vastly increase when they evolve? I mean, I'm not, like, super competitive Pokemon guy, so I don't really know a lot. I've been playing the game since, like, the beginning. Huh. That's a dead end. Oh, there we go. I like the fact that you don't have to keep using Flash over and over again. Let's see here. Oh, this is easy, yo. Push that down. Break this. Yo, I'm just gonna smash this rock with this whale. You didn't even have to move that one. What's this? Ah, we're back in that main room. So, yeah, I'd greatly appreciate it if you, you know, told me about that Pokemon evolution stat thing that I was just talking about. If that's a thing. Like, it has to be a thing. I just showed you the stats, unless I'm, like, that short-term, like, my memory is that bad. Um, Dragon Claw, yes. Because crack, uh, cacturn, <clears throat> cacturn, 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 c
attack turn is dark type. Yeah, get all that experience, yo. Ah, looks like we missed an item, but I wasn't going for him anyway. I think this is the exit, if I remember correctly. Dude, I used like all my lemonade. That is not good. Let's do this. Repels. <laughs> Thanks, yo. Are you... Way to ruin the moment, Hariyama. Oh, shit. It's not me, it's Wally. Hi, Chris. I bet you're surprised to see me. I made it all the way here, and it's all thanks to you. Chris, losing to you that time made me stronger, but I'm not going to lose anymore. I'm going to win for the Pokemon who gave me courage and strength. Okay, here I come. Pokemon Trainer Wally would like to battle. Send out Altaria. Go Flygon! Flygon's not the strongest Pokemon on our team. Just Dragon Claw, because it's super effective against Altaria. Oh, so close, yo. Safeguard. Foe is covered by a veil. Whatever the hell that means. Used Super Potion. What? I gotta say, the bad guys, or the, the trainers in this game use a lot of items. I don't remember other generations doing it that much. I mean, it's more realistic, to be honest. But it's just kind of... Bleh. <laughs> it's kind of annoying. Man, 30 minutes? I'm glad I didn't do the rest of it, but I gotta cut out a bunch. This will be about 25 minutes. So unprofessional talking about that during the recording. But look at all the care apps I give. Because I do it my way. Um, Let's go with Swellow. I'm already actually thinking about doing a uh, not for like not anytime soon, but I've already been kind of mapping out how I want to do uh, my Pokemon Red Let's Play. It'll probably be Fire Red. I don't know if I'm gonna do. I don't know which one I'm gonna do yet. The the original or Fire Red, but I will be doing that game at some point. Not anytime soon though. Don't don't get your like. Oh my God, it's coming. No, it, it's not coming anytime soon. Like I would say. Year from now, who knows? Maybe I'll get the urge in maybe like five, six months, and I'll play it. But who knows? Because I don't. Because I know it. I can guarantee that the Pokemon Red Let's Play will be nothing like this one. It it won't because unlike this game, I know everything there is to know about Pokemon Red. I've played that game. Let's see. <sighs> I want to say maybe five times on the original one, and then two, three times on the remake. Oh, wait. What am I doing? <laughs> Aerial Ace, yo. So, I've played the game at least seven or eight times. And that doesn't even count all the Let's Plays I've seen, which is going to add that to, like, eleven. Uh, Magneton, eh? Hey, I have a Magneton. It's just not with me. I'd have a Magneton battle, but... I, I, he's not with me. Go Swamper, because he's ground, and Electric doesn't affect him. Wish I remembered that when I fought Mo um, Watson and Malval, because I'm an idiot. Oh my god, that was probably one of the stupidest things ever. When I went up against Malval. And I totally forgot that Marsh Tomp was ground. That was so dumb. Get wrecked, Magneton! Get on my level. Gardevoir, huh? 
Um, go Flygon. Because, whatever. Because Psychic type, right? Psychic. This is the Pokemon he caught all those years ago. And I'm gonna one-hit KO it. Hopefully. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Damn. Not even close. Get crunched! <laughs> Yeah, like, if I tried to do Victory Road, the whole thing, this would be almost an hour long. It's so long, yo. Yo. Also, World Ends With You, uh, Beat, the character in that game, has ruined me. Because I cannot stop saying yo. I couldn't beat you today. <laughs> beat. Chris, but one of these days, I'll catch up to you. Now, you can actually come back to him... Um, I think three or four more times and fight him after he's, like, leveled up. So that's pretty cool. Entering Pokemon League, center gate. Here it is, guys. The Pokemon League. Where you will get a Mart and to Pokemon Center in one. It's fifth generation, guys! Um, so, yeah. Starting, um, this Monday, you'll get to see the Elite Four. I guarantee it. Because I will be working my butt off this weekend. Because I put everything aside. I'm gonna kick Reason out and do the impossible. Or something. Uh, anyway, before this gets any longer, I've been Chris Hartnett, this is Pokemon Ruby, and I'll see y'all later. I think I said that wrong, but whatever.